I want my own digital bank. Why? Yeah, well, I thought the big banks were actually spending so much time and so much money repairing the problems of the past, putting right what went wrong in the financial crisis. And there was room for a new organization with new values, transparency, and above all, new technology doing what customers really wanted. Which is basically what credit cards, getting a bank, you'll no, open a credit we, card. No, won't what, you? no, what we have is, is, a, is a current account, a checking account yep. uh, for uh, consumers and small businesses. And that's really useful banking. We provide the payment services, the, um, the processing that small businesses and consumers need to run their daily life. And huge amount of analytics and um, artificial intelligence and machine learning to actually get the best value from your money. And how many customers do you have now? 450,000, something well, like that? Almost to 500,000. Okay, 500,000. Yeah. How yeah. big can you get? Yeah, we can get very, very big. And we're after, you know, we're focusing having something like 8% of market share of the SME market in the UK. Um, and we are, you know, every week, lots of people sign up for our account and are really getting huge value from it. So is this, is this targeted for businesses or is this actually targeted for businesses but also individuals? Right, we have a, we have a model where we'd have the best, best technology for individuals personal accounts and for small businesses and we also have a b2b model where we open up our technology as banking as a service to large corporations and government we have contracts with governments and we have contracts with big banks so we are really bringing the best technology to this industry for the first time does it feel like it's a crowded market and as so you're going after you know the, the big three or the big four yeah. who I think still have like seven accounts out of ten but you also have quite a lot of competition on the ground what makes you different to Metro or someone else? Oh, okay, well, Metro is very much a you know high street proposition. We're all about having the best delivery model, the best customer service, an organization that customers can really relate to. Okay. So what's your customer service like? Do I, I mean, I love my app, right? Yeah, my yeah, apps, yeah, and so yeah. I'm on my phone. Yeah. Is it like a chat, or do I actually get to speak to someone face-to-face? You get face to, to face? speak to somebody 24 by 7 if you need to. Most of our customers want to do everything on their smartphone, but... A few customers want to speak to us at 2 o'clock in the morning about an issue they have, and we are there for them 24 by 7. How, how important is it to scale up very quickly so that people recognize? I, I imagine the most difficult thing yeah. for you is actually getting your message out there. Is it through marketing? Is it through word of mouth? Well, lots of people tell you know, their friends and family about Starling, and that is how people hear about us. Uh, but you know, if you ask people at the moment, we are, you know, we are, we are part of day-to-day -day conversations. People are getting to know about us. People are getting to know about the fact that uh, we are very, very fair, um, our, uh, our, our accounts are free, and we tend not to be, you know, we, 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 we flex for our small businesses to make sure that they really respond to their needs. Are you regulated like the bigger banks? Yep, we are and full, we have a so full banking license, um, and the regulations for us are very, very tough. Um, you know, it took many years to get a banking license, and uh, we are regulated the same level, and all our deposits, up to £85,000, are um, covered by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. And how big do you want to be in the next... Is it, is it a five-year plan? Is it a ten-year yeah. plan? You know, we, we will have a million accounts by the end of the year, and many millions after. And we are currently um, applying for the RBS Remedies Fund, mm -hmm. uh, which, is the, um, which is the fund has been um, set up to add more competition into the SME market um, and that is going to be very very important to introduce new competition to the SME market in coming years. How much do you worry about Brexit? So SMEs could be hit quite hard in case of a no-deal Brexit mm. um, but if they're stockpiling they could be you know hit regardless of what happens with Brexit. Yeah you know Brexit is difficult for all of us you know the uncertainty is difficult but most organizations especially uh, organizations young in their in this sort of in their history are able to flex and actually figure out how they're going to navigate this situation how how um, how much exposure do you want elsewhere I mean do you start with the UK because it's a we great model the UK. and then you go to somewhere else do you want to go in Ireland or somewhere else we're big in the okay. UK um, we have a euro account which you just launched which is very successful okay. next stop Ireland uh, and then from Ireland, we launch across uh, Europe. So what's your Euro account? Is it for British businesses here who may have to deal with Brexit and so have to open yeah. something over there? Uh, so at the moment, we have a Euro account for UK citizens and uh, for um, businesses. And we will soon have those accounts offered to European citizens across Europe. Okay, any acquisitions inside for technology or do you want to do everything in-house? We, we, 
the moment are technology company. We work very, very hard in getting the best technology in the world. Um, I spent 30 odd years in traditional banks trying to fix the old problems. It's great to be in an organization where we have new technology and we can take the best technology from around the world and use it to solve financial services problems in the right way.